Hey folks, in this video we're going to try an engine oil flush. Specifically, I'm going to try a chemical called dimethyl sulfoxide, or DMSO for short. Apparently this is a popular thing in Russia, but I've also seen some information about it floating around the internet. Speaking of which, I did some research and found that dimethyl sulfoxide has some curious properties. For example, it solidifies below room temperature. So if you want to mix it with your engine oil, it and the oil needs to be warm enough to keep it liquid. Here in Florida, that's not a problem. But if you live in a cold environment, you'll need to preheat the DMSO and the oil and the engine before you use it. DMSO is also a powerful solvent. So theoretically, it should be useful as an engine flush chemical. People claim that it breaks up sludge and dissolves carbon deposits. However, there is a catch. DMSO also absorbs into your skin, and anything dissolved in the DMSO, like dirty engine oil, will get absorbed as well, and that's not good. So if you plan to use DMSO as an engine flush, you should use protective gear to keep it off your skin. That said, there doesn't seem to be any official procedure for using DMSO as an engine flush chemical. It's mainly used in the health industry as an ointment or a salve. The use of DMSO as an engine flush chemical seems to be trial and error. Some of the information I've read seems to suggest a concentration of 5% can be used for light duty and 10% for a heavy duty engine flush. When I bought my BMW, the engine had insane amounts of carbon deposits in it. It looked like someone dumped a bag of charcoal in the engine. I cleaned out some of that already, but there was still a lot of carbon deposits in the engine. So I decided to use a concentration of 10% DMSO and 90% engine oil. I also read that DMSO thins out the engine oil, so I decided to use higher viscosity oil. Specifically, I'm using 20W50 for the flush. I'm also using cheap oil and filters for the flush because they won't be in the engine for very long. I don't see a point in buying expensive oil and filters just to drain it out after a couple hours. Even the cheapest oil and filters should be fine for such a short period of time. After the engine flush is complete, I'll switch back to good oil and a decent filter. Anyway, enough with the introductions, let's start the engine oil flush. But before we start, let's take a look inside the engine and see what we're dealing with. Like I mentioned before, I cleaned out some of the carbon deposits already. But there's still some gunk inside the engine. Here's what it looks like inside the oil filter housing. That reddish brown residue looks pretty gross. Also, let's pull the valve cover and see what it looks like in there. There are still some carbon deposits in there and some of that reddish brown residue. I decided to pre-mix the DMSO and engine oil before putting it in the engine. Since the valve cover is already removed, I'll just pour the mixture directly into the engine. Off camera, I reinstalled the valve cover and topped off the engine oil. Now I'm going to start the engine and let it idle to circulate the DMSO through the engine. And as the engine warms up, the heat will make the DMSO more effective. People say to just let it idle for an hour and drain the oil out. But I'm going to try something different. I'm going to run the engine for about 15 minutes to circulate the oil, then I'm going to shut it off and let it heat soak for 30 minutes. Then I'll start it up to circulate the oil for another 15 minutes. Then I'll shut it off and let it heat soak another 30 minutes. And finally, I'll start it up and let it idle for another 15 minutes to circulate the oil some more. 
Then I'll drain out the oil. Now we gotta let it run for a while. By the way, that dimethyl sulfoxide makes a nasty odor. It smells almost like rotten eggs. The engine is up to operating temperature, so I'm gonna rev it up a little bit. But I'm only gonna rev it to about 2000 RPM because I don't wanna cause any engine damage. I'll do that a few more times before I shut it off. Okay, the engine's been running about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna shut it off and let it heat soak for another 30 minutes. Okay, it's been sitting for a while. The engine is still nice and warm, so I'm going to fire it up again and run it for another 15 minutes. You can see the engine is still kind of warm. It's almost up to operating temperature still. I still can't get over the smell. Earlier I said it smells like rotten eggs, but after some thought I think it smells more like the smoke from fireworks. Anyway, let's let it run for a bit. Okay, I'm going to rev it up a little bit more, but once again, I'm not going to rev it past 2000 RPM because I don't want to damage the engine. And I think this is a good time to shut it off. Alright, I'm going to let the engine cool off a little bit just so the oil is not scalding hot when I drain it out. And then I'm going to drain it out. Okay, now it's time to drain out the oil with the DMSO in it. Once again, the DMSO absorbs into your skin, and if it has nasty chemicals mixed in it, that can cause bad things to happen. So I used thick rubber gloves for this part. I'm also going to save the filter and a sample of the oil for later analysis. The next step is to use some more cheap oil and another cheap oil filter to rinse out the remains of the DMSO treatment and rinse out any residue that's still floating around in the engine. I'm using cheap oil and filter for this step because it won't be in the engine very long. 
Also notice I'm using 10W30 oil for the rinse. This oil does not have DMSO mixed in it, so the oil does not need to be higher viscosity. Anyway, that oil didn't last very long at all. It only lasted long enough to drive to the gas station and back. By the time I got home, the valve train was starting to get noisy. I know from experience that means the oil filter is getting clogged up. And it was. The filter was dirty and the oil was brown after only 15 to 20 minutes of driving. So I decided to do a second rinse. Once again, I used cheap oil and a cheap filter because I didn't expect it to last very long. This time, I was able to drive the car for a couple days. I didn't do anything crazy, just regular driving. I didn't want to take any chances. After the second rinse, I decided to put in some good oil and a better oil filter. At this point, I should be able to drive the car normally. Okay, so the flushing procedure is done. Like I mentioned earlier, I took oil samples and saved the filters. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so here are the oil samples I took during the process. This one is the old oil that was in the engine before the flush. It's not really important, I just added it in as a frame of reference. This is the oil with the DMSO in it, which was used for the flush. And these are the two subsequent oil changes that were used to rinse out this stuff. Unfortunately, the lighting and the white background makes them all look dark, so it's hard to tell the color differences between them. But I can tell you this one is the darkest, followed by that one, then that one, and then this one is the lightest. In a minute, we'll spread them out on some paper and you'll see it better. But first, I've seen lots of comments that the DMSO thins out the oil, so you should use a thicker oil during the flush. And that's what I did, based on that advice. However, now that all these engine oils are the same temperature, their room temperature, this is noticeably thicker. Actually, if I take this and shake it, I don't know if you can see, but the oil clings to the side of the bottle more than the other ones, which are lower viscosity. This is 10W40, 10W30, 10W30. And this is 20W50. What I think is happening, people may not be used to draining the engine oil while the engine is warm. So they see the oil coming out thin and they probably just assume it's because of the DMSO. When in actuality, it's probably just because the oil is hot. Anyway, let's pour these guys out onto this paper and see what they look like. Okay, so here are the four different oil samples. The top left is the old dirty engine oil from before the flush. This is the oil with the DMSO in it. That is the first rinse after the flush, and that's the second rinse. Um, I have to admit, I was surprised. I thought this oil was the darkest, and I thought it was the dirtiest, but actually looks like the old engine oil is the dirtiest. Also, this oil has sort of a reddish-orange hue to it. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. I wonder what caused that. Oh, another thing. This oil was only in the engine for maybe 20 minutes, and it got that dirty. Whereas this oil was in the engine for a couple days, and a lot more driving. So apparently the engine actually did need two oil changes after the flush. The good news is I don't see any metal particles in any of these oil samples. That's a good sign. Anyway, let's open up those oil filters and see what they look like. Thank you. 
this is the old oil filter from before the engine flush. This filter was in the engine for about six months, and as you can see, it is caked with carbon deposits. This is why I wanted to do the flush in the first place. The second filter is from the DMSO flush. It's also very dirty, which is to be expected. The DMSO treatment loosened up some carbon deposits and they ended up in the filter. That's actually a good thing because I want to get that stuff out of the engine. The next filter is from the first rinse. This one has less carbon deposits on the end of the filter, but the filter media is still pretty dirty. So apparently there was still some gunk floating around in the engine that needed to be cleaned out. Also remember that filter was only in the engine for about 20 minutes. The last filter is from the second rinse. It looks about the same as the first rinse, but that one was in the engine for a couple days. So it had a lot more time to accumulate debris. But after seeing how dirty that filter was, I decided to buy a couple extra oil filters just in case. The results of the oil and filter analysis are encouraging, but I'm curious to see what the engine looks like inside, and I bet you are too. So let's pull the valve cover and take a look. To be honest, I don't see much of a difference. I reviewed the before and after footage several times and the difference seems to be very minor. That said, the engine did have some pretty serious carbon deposits, so it may take several flushes to clean it all out. Anyway, let's also look in the oil filter housing. Here the difference is more noticeable. Most of that reddish brown residue is gone. That may be why the oil with the DMSO in it was a reddish brown color. So after doing all this, would I recommend using DMSO to flush out your engine? If your engine has really bad carbon deposits, the flush might not make much of a difference, or you'll need to use several flushes. But if the carbon deposits are not that bad, then it might be more effective. But then one could argue, if the carbon deposits aren't very bad, then you don't really need an engine flush. So it's really up to you to decide what you want to do. Anyway, that's it for this video. See you next time.